so hi guys welcome back to simply grace media if you are new to this channel or you have just come across this channel my name is grace media i'm a registered nurse originally from kenya but currently living and working in the uk so if you have always been here to support me thank you so much i don't take it for granted guys and if you haven't subscribed and you're watching please make sure that you subscribe to this channel we are officially road to 1000 subscribers i can't wait to reach 100 subscribers guys so that we can celebrate together so guys from the topic today i'm just going to, to be letting you guys know on how i managed to save my money because since i released my video on uh, how much i saved first year that i came to the uk so people have been, been requesting on me to tell them on how i managed to save it on some things that i did some things that i avoided so that i managed to save the certain amount of money that i saved so if you haven't watched that video i'll also make sure to put a link on this video so that you can go and watch it so guys i'm just from night shift i haven't even slept i'm very very exhausted but i just said let me just do this video because it's been a while since i released a video and i know you guys are my loyal followers and you're just wondering where i am some other people other people have started asking where i am i'm okay guys i'm fine so um i just decided to release this video faster so that i can go and take a nap so the first and foremost is budgeting budgeting is very very important and what is budgeting anyway budgeting is just uh, basically the amount of money that you earn versus the amount of money that you spend on your goods in certain amount of period of time that is a simple explanation of budgeting so when I do my budget I don't use the exact amount that I get each month because you know working here you don't usually get the exact amount that you get each and every month simply because you're not doing the exact shift that you did last month you might find that maybe this time you 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 were lucky enough to get uh, a lot of night shift you were lucky enough to get a lot of maybe holiday maybe bank holidays or you were lucky enough to work on weekends so you can find that your salary is going to be much higher than uh, the previous salary or if maybe you worked a little bit less of the holidays and the night shift then your salary might be a little bit lower than uh, maybe the previous one so what i did guys is that um i just gave myself uh, like about six months after i got my pin and just tried to give an estimate of the amount of money that i want to be using and i tried to pick the lowest amount of salary that i've ever gotten because i found that each and every month there has to be like a slight increase and also due to the strikes and all there's been some increase in salary so the amount of money that i kept there that was the lowest at that point that was about one year ago it's not the um, exact amount that i'm still earning now so but i'm still using that budget so i'm still trying to fix myself in that budget so what i did is that like if maybe let's say like january you, you earned 2100 pounds maybe in february you earned maybe 1900 then come march and maybe 2050 and uh so i just tried to like do a division added all of the three and just try to divide by three or by i just did it like that and i found the lowest amount of money and that is how i did my budget that was one year ago and that is the ex same exact amount of money that i use up to date so budgeting has really helped me so much it has really helped me achieve some of my goals that um i didn't know that i'm going to be achieving at this point in my life so how i do my budget is that i put aside um all the money for doing each and everything that i'm supposed to be doing for example i put aside money for uh, rent i put aside money for uh, buying foodstuffs i put aside money for savings and uh, all the other things that i'm supposed to be doing each and every month and uh, what is very very important here on how to save your money you make sure that when you are doing your budget make sure that saving is the top most in your budgeting list make sure that you inc include the, the amount of money that you want to be saving each month in your budget but if you say that uh, let me just use this money that i've gotten this month then uh, if I, I remain with some more money is where i'm going to save it is not um, the way to go it's very good that you include your savings into the budget let it just be like a constant figure or you if you want to be increasing each and every month each and every week well it's up to you but let it be part of your budget just know that each and every month like the way like the way you just pay your rent you buy food make sure that your saving is in there your saving is in there so that you don't have to like 
think about where am I going to get the money that I'm going to be saving because it's already there. It's just for you to plan it. Yeah, it has really helped because, you know, when you've already planned everything, you don't get to have um, a lot of money to do other things that um, you do want to do. Like maybe you do want to maybe spend your money to do some, maybe to buy some clothes and do all that. You just um, budget your money and let it just uh, be fixable on something. Let it just stay like that. So while you're budgeting, it's always good to make sure that you cut on your spendings. You can cut on your spendings by maybe trying to alternate to get alternatives of the goods that you want you might find that maybe things are just of the same quality but maybe they're just of the diff of different brands but they do work the same everything is the same it's just that the brand names are different so it's just good for you if well it will depend on you but that is what i do if i get to find that maybe these things i can find that the features are the same i'll just talk a good example is a tv i'm going to be saying about a tv because my son just broke my tv and now i'm just thinking on where am i going to get this money to purchase another television so i'm just still like trying to compare some different kinds of uh, television so that i can get to find which one I'm going to buy. So that's just one good example of cutting um, expenses because you're able to be uh, comparing prices and uh, knowing which one is expensive, which one is cheaper so that you can at least get to save a little bit of money there instead of like spending all, of, all your money to buy things that are maybe you can get in cheaper prices. Yeah, so that is basically all about budgeting. But guys, that's not all because very soon I'll be making a video on how i do my budget i'll just be uh, breaking to you guys down on how i do spend my money and i'll just be showing you with my payslip shopping uh receipt and uh, everything so if you haven't subscribed and you want to watch that please make sure that you subscribe so that when i do this video you'll be able to know how i'm able to manage it because now we'll be having child care we have uh, shopping to do we've got lots of things to do lots of savings to do in short we have lots of things to talk about guys so make sure that you subscribe to this channel my second point is i like uh shopping on uh, cheaper retailers i just compare prices of like let's say clothes and uh, maybe food stuffs like let's say in supermarkets of course when you come here or even maybe in our country just all let's say just worldwide there are those shops that are very very expensive maybe from if you buy clothes there and then you're going to be spending a lot of money then uh there are those supermarkets that are very very expensive and uh, some are even exaggerated it's just um when i first came here i told you the mistakes i made is that i did not i didn't know of uh which cheaper retailers to go for so i just walked into different uh, retailers to buy different kind of clothes different kind of jackets and shoes and even food and uh later on i came to find out that these places are way much expensive than i can afford than i could afford at that point and even at this time so it made me try to do a lot of research, the shopping, to look on the cheaper uh, retailers. Because you can find that they, if it's a cloth, it's just a cloth where you have to wear. Maybe they are more or less the same in terms of quality, but you can get cheaper on uh, some other retailers than uh, on other retailers. So it's very good to weigh your options and know which which one you want but if you want to wear the most expensive ones then it will always be available for you but it's very good to stick to your budget and make sure that you don't go astray on it so that's what i do most of the time if it's supermarket i go on the cheaper sides of the supermarket well i won't be mentioning any places um at the moment but uh, that is what i do i focus on the cheaper supermarkets i focus on the cheaper retailers for clothes and everything and uh, that is how i get to also save money because if i go to these expensive places then it means that i'm going to be i'm going to have to take some other more money out of my budget of which is not planned for and it's, this is these are the things that now come to spoil your budget and you find that and most people if your budget is spoiled then you don't think about saving anymore you just say like let me just use this money so that next month um if let's say for example you're supposed to be saving 200 pounds each month then you say that let me just save 50 pounds or let me just say 100 pounds so that next time when i bring the money i'll just bring 300 but next time there are also going to be another issue so you, you'll find that 
if you just start that then the subsequent savings are going to be in trouble because you'll be paying lesser and lesser and lesser and it will be very very difficult for you to get to achieve your goal at the end of the day and guys what i also do is that um i avoid shopping when i'm hungry I normally like shopping in the evenings or early early in the morning after I take my breakfast because in the evenings I can go in the evenings after I have my dinner or I can go early in the morning after I have my breakfast. These two periods I am not really really hungry but if I say I'm going in the afternoon normally I don't take lunch most of the time. I find myself very hungry. So when you shop, the, what happens when you shop when you're hungry? You'll just be going and pick. I want this bread. I want this cake. I want this juice. I want this. You'll just be picking things because you're hungry at that point and just want to take everything so that you can go and fill your tummy of which is not good. So I would also advise you, it's just my own perception that shopping when you're hungry also is not the best time. Just make sure when you're going to shop, at least you've had something so that you don't like have to salivate to get that thing or buy it so that you can go and eat it and fill your tummy yeah that is one of the tip i've got guys so the third thing that i do is earning more and um, when i talk about earning more it basically means that you have to get out of your comfort zone you have to get out of your comfort zone and do as much shift as possible you work smart working smart basically means just that you just pick on the shift that no, like maybe have extra money, like maybe night shift or maybe bank holidays or maybe weekends, like on Sundays or Saturdays. These are the days that pay much more in NHS where I am or maybe UK wide. I'm not sure exactly, but that is what happens in our, in our trust. When you do on a bank holidays, when you do on Sunday or weekends or night shift, you're, you get to find that your money is slightly raised than when you just do like normal shift. That's why you're saying that you work smart, not hard, work smart. Just know on which specific shifts get the most money. But well, I am not saying that you just focus on this day. If there's no other shift, of course, on this day, because many people run to get this shift, then you can just go ahead and pick the normal shift so that at least you get to get some extra cash because if there's no way you're just going to sit there and wait for the 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 good the good good the good shift the the shift that pay good amount of money and you also have the opportunity to do other shifts so if they are there go ahead and do them but i'm just saying this so that next time you make sure that you're among the first people to choose this good shift so that it's going to be much higher than the amount of money that you're going to be getting on your regular shifts and what I do normally, when I do this uh, bank shift, bank shift, yeah, this shift that I'm talking about, the extra shift, when I get to do this bank shift, I normally put this money aside. This money doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go to my budget. It's not in my budget. And you also remember that I had said earlier that I do a constant figure amount of money in my budget. So you find that if my constant amount of figure is 1800 I budget on the 1800 then... Uh, if maybe I, I get to get maybe 2,000 or maybe 2,100, then you can find that maybe have 200 or 300 there that are remaining with. And this amount of money also goes directly in my saving. And the also amount of money that goes directly in my saving is this bank shift, the extra shift that I'm doing. So this money just goes straight in my saving because I don't budget it anywhere. Um, unless, unless, although it happens, yes, Unless I've just decided like uh, I want to do like two shifts or maybe three shifts so that maybe I can go on a holiday somewhere or maybe I can buy something that I've always wanted. Well, uh, we work too hard and uh, sometimes it's very good to spoil yourself, to buy something good that you've always wanted to buy for yourself. Maybe if you want to go for a holiday, it's also good to go for a holiday because we just don't work, work, work and get money to pay the bills. We also need to work uh, and also enjoy ourselves with the little money that we get. Because honestly, you can't, there's no way you're going to be pouring from an empty empty cup. Meaning that you also need some time to rest. You need some time to have fun and uh, just some time of the um, work and just to recharge. Just to recharge yourself and uh, so that when next you come to work, 
you're very very stronger than ever and in doing this you find that you'll be able to meet your goals faster because if you you have like uh three or four in uh, streams of um saving your money so uh you the goal that you've always wanted if maybe you want to build a house you want to buy a house you want to do some project back home or maybe here or you want to maybe do something bigger then it's going to be easier or maybe if you want to like pay a mortgage or something it's going to be very easier for you to meet it because you have a lot of streams uh for you to save money in it so you will get to reach your goals very faster so the last thing that i normally do is taking advantage of the offers that are available like um for example if uh, maybe you go to the shop you find that there are that there are many things that um are on the shop maybe on holidays or on different days or le let's say like maybe black friday like amazon days and all that so i, I normally take uh, advantage on these days of which like when i want to buy these things like let's say elect electronics like maybe uh these uh, utensils i normally do do these things on the days that i'm on offer and you find that you'll, you'll really really save a huge amount of money compared to you buying on the normal days where they're very very expensive so I, I take advantage of these offers and i also have these cards from like maybe the supermarket the point cards so that you get to have like uh, in some places they are going to be doing some cashbacks cashbacks is basically means that they're going to be refunding you some amount of money that you purchased that thing and uh some there are some places that you get to have points so that and uh, there are also places that when you have their card, then uh, the amount of money that you're supposed to be you'll be supposed to be paying it's going to be reduced uh, slightly lower than the someone who doesn't have that card. So I also take advantage of that, and it helps me to save big on shopping and on doing other th stuffs. So. So guys, I'll just say that um, me not buying the things that I, I don't need, taking advantage of the offers and uh, being able to like avoid buying the very new new things and uh, just going for quality secondhand things because they're very, very good quality secondhand things that you can purchase instead of buying new things. It has really, really helped me um, move a step forward from where I used to be and where I am. There's a very, very big difference, guys. So that's it for this video. I'll do a video on the budget as I've said but uh, I'll let you know when the video is ready but not now. Now I was just focusing on how I spend and that those are just the things that I do to save among others. That's basically it for this video guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in my next video. Goodbye.